what's up youtube welcome back again in the last tutorial we have coded for the save button which is going to save images for you in the database with compression with resizing them using the thumbnail api sorry using the thumbnail editor api and in this tutorial we are going to retrieve those images using the row id for the particular image and displaying the them using the display button in the j label so the name of my j label is image and the name for my text field is text so just right click to the display button go to events action and action performed and uh, here is the display button so i have named it is a default button i have not named it then first thing you have to do is you have to call the name of your j label and set the method icon set icon to null okay and then you have to fire your sql query for retrieval so what we use for retrieval is the select statement so create a string sql and call select star from your table name my table name is images so i'll type in images select star from images i'll use the where clause where row id is equal to something okay so i'll be using the row id and i'll get the row id from the text field uh, so i'll enter a some the row id in the text field and i'll display the button so it will retrieve the image from text field now you have to create try and catch block i think you have to try and catch with exception as e and the code for exception just going to And now in the time catch block just use the prepare statement which is equal to connection dot prepare statement it takes the sql query as argument and next thing is you have to set the prepare statement dot set string method so in this set string method you have to pass two arguments the first one says the uh, number one and here you have to type the name of the text field from which you are going to get the uh, text that is the row id so i'll be using my text field name that is text dot and the method is get text method so the get text method will get the text for me then you have to call the result set object result set is equal to prepare statement dot execute query this one execute query and change the semicolon now if result set dot next if result set dot next then what you have to do is you have to convert the you have to convert the this binary large object into buffer image back so you have to what you have to do is you have to use a byte array name data as uh, image data is equal to image input output dot mm, uh, what you have to do you have to convert now so you have to call the result set dot to get the bytes first I will set dot get bytes. Bytes from where? From the column name. What column name? The column name is image for me. Your image. So we have to get the bytes from there. So it is image. And then now you have to convert this byte array into buffered image. So create object of a buffered image class. Buffered image. I'll call it buff underscore image is equal to. Now you have to call the image input output read method so this is going to read the byte array for us so it is new byte array input stream and we'll read the byte array here image data in the semicolon and then next line uh, you might remember we have created a image icon object as format so here you have to type in your format is equal to new image icon and here you have to pass the buffer image object that is buff image and the last thing is you have to set this uh, image icon to your j label so the name of my j label is image image dot again the same method set icon and will pass it here the object of the image icon format so this is going to sorry spelling mistake icon 
so this is going to set our uh, binary image back to our and convert it into buffered image and set it to our j label now quickly we are going to go for the catching exceptions just go ahead and type in your pin stack and after the catch statement you have to create a finally block so in the finally block just paste your try and catch block that is you have to create new try and catch block and here you have to close the result set so result set dot close and prepared statement dot close so this it will make changes in your database permanent and then again catch an exception but no need you can just do it boom so the code seems almost good yeah and i'll just run the program for you so it is running and now uh, i'll first enter the row id 1 for the object that is the uncompressed image and uh, here it is so i'll enter one here and i'll display the mid button so here it is retrieving the image for us but it is not compressed it is very large image very okay then i'll open the second image that is the compressed one resized image using the thumbnail reader api so i'll just type in here two and i'll display the button and here is a sweet image of the water lilies that we have compressed we have made a thumbnail of it of by the size 150 by 150 and this seems okay so thanks for watching this video i hope you have learned uh, about image compression i have spent a lot of time for this thing and uh, it's handy for you so just learn it and share it with others and use it in almost all of your programs that you are making with deals with images it saves a lot of data a lot of time thanks for watching stay tuned keep coding take care